Hello and welcome to Only Connect. Tonight, you'll notice I've come as Marilyn Monroe. I'm in pink satin, I'm a size 14 and rattling with pills. It's the nerves because this is the final, the grand final. The winners will walk away with a magnificent glass trophy. The losers have to go on and meet the eggheads. That's not to play a quiz, they just have to meet them. Now, I'm sure we're in for an elegant and dignified contest, not an unseemly mess of scream threats and fist throwing, entertaining though the rehearsal was. So let's meet the teams vying for championship. On my right, the Epicureans. David Brewis, a schoolmaster from Durham who owns every edition of the Guinness Book of Records. Aaron Bell, a politics, philosophy and economics graduate from Beckenham in Kent. And their captain, Katie Brannell Stainer, a GP with a BSc in the history of medicine who wrote her dissertation on the history of sexual deviancy. And who wouldn't? Katie, the Epicureans have beaten the courtiers, the bridge players and the rights. How have you celebrated those victories? Oh, we um, celebrated each round by dining. We, we've dined in all the Michelin-starred restaurants in Cardiff. Well, let's see if it'll be another Michelin dinner. <laughs> Your opponents are the radio addicts. Dave Clark, an English teacher and blogger who has a collection of over 50 radios. Neil Phillips, a music lover and huge radio enthusiast who listens to Radio 5 every day and is learning to speak Italian. And their captain, Gary Grant, a wildlife lover with a passion for indie music who works as a locum GP. You have beaten the taxonomists, the Brit poppers and the Aylesmen to win your place in the final Radio Addicts. It was a pretty tight semi-final. How are you feeling about tonight? Well, we'll have to play an awful lot better than we did in the semi-final. Uh, in rounds one and two, we were like people who had their brains plumbed in the wrong way around. So we had to come storming back in rounds three and four, which might make for good television, but isn't very good for our nerves, to be honest. It was round four that saved you, but your opponents tonight have a famously good record in that round, so perhaps you'll write a few more points earlier. But nobody will get any points unless we start the quiz. So let's get on with round one, where I will ask you, team, simply, what is the connection? Between four clues. Epicureans, you won the toss, but you've decided to put the radio addicts in first. So, addicts, please choose a question. Okay, we'll kick off with Twisted Flax. The Twisted Flax, first clue coming up now. Okay, uh, is that near Chernobyl perhaps? Um, Could be, Ukraine. Okay, so we think we get another one perhaps? Yeah. Next. Centralia, are these the most central points of um, continents? So, perhaps the most central point of. Europe, the most central point of America. Uh, I like America. your thinking. Yeah. Uh, do you want another one? Yeah. And if it's somewhere like uh, yeah, that? How, how certain okay. are you? Uh, 60%. Next. Oh, the most central point of the country. country. Oh. The most central point of the country in question. Yeah. Yeah. Ten seconds. Should we try that? Yeah, yeah, we have nothing else, have we? Yeah. Well, we have a Pripyat, something. Sorry. Um, we think it's the geographical centre of the country uh, that's named second. It is not that. So I'm going to show the fourth clue to the Epicureans. You need to give it to me quickly. Um, scenes of massacres. They are not scenes of massacres. No, these are all places that have been abandoned. Ah, Look at in the Ukraine after Chernobyl. I think you know that's what happened there. It was abandoned. Centralia in the USA after a mine fire. Orador sur Glan in France was destroyed during the war. And uh, St Kilda simply was abandoned in 1930 because life there was just too difficult. Places that are now uninhabited. So no bonus, but Epicureans, you can now choose a question. Uh, water, please. Water. First clue coming up now. Flying a kite, should we next? Next. Next. That's not bad. Next. Next. Well, it would make it could well be, couldn't it? Should we go, 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 go for one more? One more, please. Next. Ten seconds. Okay, so they, they were things that were banned during wartime. Yeah, okay. These are all activities that were banned during wartime. I'll accept it. Banned during the First World War under the Defence of the Realm Act. They were banned, the first three, obviously, because they'd attract too much attention in that last one because the government feared that worker productivity would drop. For me, a few drinks uh, makes my productivity rate even higher. But the government just don't think, do they? Radio addicts, please pick a question. Two reads, please. Two reads. These are going to be picture clues. You've got the picture question. What's the connection? Time starts now. Here's a mouse. 
computer mouse. So again, we'll have to go next. Next. Uh, Windsor Castle. Windsor. Castle. Windsor. Is it looks Windsor? Like Windsor. That's the. the, yeah, the so you've got the mouse. You've got the, Windsor. What do they call it? The Pepper Pot Tower or something. They call it. Pepper Pot. Uh, Windsor Chair. Windsor. Windsor Nought. Windsor Tie. Mouse Tie. Oh, I think we have to have it next. And a golf ball. Well, it could be a ball. It could be a golf ball. Uh, golf ball mouse. Ten seconds. Support next. We'll just try something rather. And Pinocchio. Things that happen. Five seconds. Made out of wood. Um, they were all originally made out of wood. <laughs> How ridiculous! You don't think that's the answer, do you? No. But it, it is the answer. <laughs> you are absolutely correct. They are things that were originally made out of wood. The first computer mouse was made of wood. Okay. Windsor Castle was. It stood there for 100 years. It was rebuilt out of stone by that's Henry II. Castles, right? Golf balls were originally made of wood, and Pinocchio was originally made of wood until, put your fingers in your ears if you don't want the story spoilt, he turned into a real boy. So well done, you get the point. Epicureans, please choose a question. Eye of Horus, please. Eye of Horus, first clue coming up now. Go next. I mean, it's, yeah, next. 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 Yeah. next. That's from that's from the show. 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 That's from the I'm afraid that's not the answer. So I'm going to show the fourth clue to the radio addicts. Um, they were repeated in the sequel. There are, the lines from a film which were repeated in the sequel. Oh, no, they, they weren't repeated in, in sequels. No, they are famous lines from films. They were spoken in the films, but not in the scripts, because the connection is they're all lines said to have been improvised ah. by the actors. The films Casablanca, The Shining, Taxi Driver and Jaws. So no points on that question, but radio addicts, you now get to choose a hieroglyph. Lion, please. Lion. First clue coming up now. Inferno, so Dante. Dante's Inferno. Two, two, two. two obviously, mm -hmm. that's a film as well. Terror Inferno. Next. Prometheus Bound. Well, again, um, that's... Are these uh, subtitles? I mean, that was... Um, well, these are prequels. Prequels. I don't prequels, know. are they? I'm not sure. Uh, Do we need another one? Do we yeah. think? Yeah. yeah I'm... Next. I'm not supposed yeah, to I am not supposed to. That, that was a no, biography of Hang on, on. no, the, the titles were, were, were changed around. Prometheus Bound, Prometheus Unbound. I'm not Spock, and his second one was I Am Spock. Yeah. Right. So, so under what 10 what seconds. Uh, Next. Three seconds. Paradise Regained, yeah. Okay. They, they were, you, can I nominate um, him to say it? You certainly can. Yeah. They all had sequels where the titles were the opposite of those titles. So. Infer I'll give you the point. It's not exactly sequels, but they are all works whose authors wrote the opposite titled works. So Dante wrote Inferno and Paradiso, Prometheus Bound and Prometheus Unbound from Aeschylus. Leonard Nimoy, of course, I'm Not Spock, also wrote I Am Spock. And Milton wrote Paradise Lost and Paradise Regained. So well done. And that leaves the horned viper for you, Epicureans. Of course, that'll be the music question. And your first clue is coming up now. A little bit longer. Next. We're busy doing nothing, working the whole day through. No, it's not. Next. 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 Ten seconds. Okay, that's some Monty Python's Holy Grail. I don't know if they've got snakes in the title. Five seconds. Try it. Snakes. 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 Why is that? Are there snakes in all the titles of those pieces of music? Uh, for the films. Unluckily for you, there are snakes in the title of none of those pieces of music. So I'm going to go over to the Radio Addicts for a possible bonus. Uh, possibly something to do with King Arthur, uh, because the third one uh, was from Camelot and the fourth one was Knights of the Round Table. From Spamalot. You're absolutely right. The connection is Arthurian legends. You heard Parsifal, busy doing nothing from a Connecticut Yankee in King Arthur's oh, court. Right. How to handle a woman from Camelot and the one you recognise, Knights of the Round Table from Spamalot. So at the end of round one, the Epicureans have got one point. 
but the radio addicts are in the lead with three. <laughs> Round two is all about sequences. This time I will show the teams the first in a sequence. They can see the second and third, but not the fourth because the fourth is the answer. So, radio addicts, you'll be going first again. Please choose a hierarchy. Two reads, please. Two reads. First in a sequence coming up. What's fourth? Time starts now. It's gone, isn't it? Yeah. Um, it's are these the most... But you're not going to have to know the, the next... That, that was the first in Dunmore production line. Was it? Oh, oh, I don't know. I really don't... I think we're going to have to go for the next one quite early, aren't we? Next. Ten million Jacobs. Oh, yeah, yeah, he had, he had he scored more, more runs in first-class cricket than anybody else. Uh-huh. Well, what on earth is going up? Obviously, it's doubling every time. Two Ten seconds. Samuel Fort, five wins London, Jack Hobbs, cricket. Take the last and give us a long Five break. seconds. Uh, we haven't got a clue, have we? Nothing. Take the last. Take the last. I can't. It's the second round. Um, <laughs> yeah, uh, it, it, we really don't know. The, the bottom of the barrel's being scraped with 20 million New York. And that's absolutely wrong, as I'm sure you know. Yes. So there's a possible bonus for you Epicureans. Uh, 20 million Google. No. I'm surprised you don't know this, because this is to do with a film that I would have thought you'd all like. These are the prizes and correct answers from the last four questions in Slumdog Millionaire. Oh, I've never question. seen it. It's a brilliant question, isn't it? Question. The okay. film about a man doing oh, Who Wants yeah. to Be a Millionaire in India. These are the last four mm. answers and the prizes he gets. Epicureans, will there be another great question that you can't answer? Have to hope not. Which hieroglyph would you like? Uh, water, please. Water. First in a sequence coming up. What is fourth? Time <clears throat> starts now. Next. 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 Buddhism, isn't it? States of Buddhism. What's when you come? What's when you come back? What's when you come back? Isn't it? Could be anything else. Ten seconds. Five seconds. Rebirth, reincarnation. I'm afraid that is not the answer. So, possible bonus addicts. Try Sangha. You're along the right lines, but that's not the right answer. They are the four noble truths of Buddhism. And fourth, I'd have liked to hear Ashtangika Maga, but I'd have accepted the Eightfold Path, its translation. Radio addicts, please pick a question. Lion, please. Lion, first in a sequence coming up. Time starts now. Chief, what are these the order of people who uh, down Downing Street? There's only three living Downing Street. Or are there? Only okay. Houses. Next. Oh, I think it is. And next I'm sure there's only three out. houses, there's 10, 11 and 12. Okay. Chance there. Well, if this next one's a chance, we're going to have to come up with a 12th one, aren't we? I don't think there is a 4th one. I would, no. I, I would okay. take the next one. Next. There you go. Oh, so who lives it? Who, who would live in a house like that? <laughs> <laughs> is it, no, is it four of them still? Ten seconds. Lord of the Amity? We don't know. Do you want to try the first Lord of the Amity? Is there still a first Lord of the Amity, in fact? Five seconds. OK. The foreign minister. Uh, I think they're all the order of how, where they live in Downing Street, but I actually don't know who lives in number 12. I'm afraid you have not given me the right answer, so Epicureans have a go for a bonus. Really? Yeah. Chance of the Duchy of Lancaster? Goodness me, where did that come from? It's just a bit obscure for the final, so... I see. No, that's not the answer. You are correct. These are the people living at number 9, 10 and 11 Downing Street at number 12, the Prime Minister's press officer. Ah. Really? All right. I think we need to see some points accrued. Epicureans, which hieroglyph would you like? Twisted flax, please. The Wick of Twisted Flax. This is going to reveal to you some picture clues. What would you expect to see in the fourth picture? The first one is coming up now. OK. That's from... So that's the from... Picture. It's in the, it's in the Guardian, isn't it? Next. Yeah. Yeah. Next. Yeah. Got remember name. Ah, so that's... Mind, so it's colours of magenta. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Should we go for one more? Yeah, it's magenta. Is it? Something. Is it? Is it? Is well, it? That's it's it. C Y M K. Let's have the next one. Really? Next. Yeah, it's yeah. black. So it's, it's four black. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, should we go for that then? Uh, okay. We sure. Yeah. Let's. Well, yeah. I mean, it's yeah, what we thought. Yeah. Ten seconds. Go. On. Jack Black. Jack Black, for example. Something black. Something like black. black. 
I will accept it. What I really wanted to hear was key. We've got a picture of a key. I think you know it's the CMYK process yeah. colours. It is a mm. printing process. K for key, but the key colour usually is black, so right. I will take that answer. Nevertheless, well done. Back to you, Radio Addicts, to make a choice. Eye of Horus. The Eye of Horus. First in a sequence coming up. What's fourth? Time starts now. He's saying he's taking me a sign, see if I'm going to be on my own here. Um, CH4, isn't it? So next. I'm going to use NH... Is this NH... CH3, NH3? CH4, NH3. I can't even... Uh, oh, crikey, well, I need the next one. And next. Water H2O. H2 oh, so we've got a four, we've got a three, we've got a two. Maybe just hydrogen, then one of it's on its own. Yeah. Okay. Do you want to... Do you want to... Okay. Hydrogen. I'm afraid that is not the answer. So I'm going over to you, Epicurus, for a possible bonus. Can I nominate the chemistry That's school the master? chemistry teacher. Let's hear it. HF, hydrofluoric acid or hydrogen fluoride. That is what I'm looking for. Can you please explain to your opponents why I could not give them the points? They're the hydrides of the second period element starting in group four, group five, group six and group seven. They've got four, three, two and one hydrogen atoms in them. Well, that, hydrogen that... has two, yeah. No, he's completely right. It is... Hydrogen is involved, mm. but these are compounds that are created when you react hydrogen with, as David says, elements from the periodic table in the second row going from left to right. I think that's complicated enough for a final game clue. Very well done for the bonus point. And now, Epicureans, you have your own question. It's the Horned Viper. First clue coming up now. Oh, red. That's the total value of the properties in that. It is. So, the, so it's going to be it's going to be dark blue. We're going round. It's going to be dark blue equals seven hundred and fifty pounds, and I would go for it now. Okay. okay. Yeah. Seven hundred and fifty. Definitely. Definitely. Yeah. Okay. Dark blue equals seven hundred and fifty pounds. Amazingly, you've come in after one clue. You're going to get five points. That oh. is 100 percent correct. And what's the reason? The, uh, the total value of the Monopoly properties in their respective colours. It is the four most expensive sets in Monopoly and the total price of those properties. Congratulations on that. Well done, Aaron. At the end of round two, then, the Radio Addicts have got three points, but the Epicureans are ahead with nine. <laughs> It's time for our old friend, the connecting wall. 16 clues which must be sorted into four connected groups of four. There are points for the groups and points for the connections. And Epicureans, it's your turn to go first. So would you like lion or water? Water, please. OK, the water wall is yours. You've got two and a half minutes to solve it, starting now. Got cricket, uh, gully cover, yes. pointer, yes. That's square. Yeah, let's Good. try that. Just do with that quickly. Good. Okay, okay, we've got some. We've got Pico, some. Not Pico. Is that a, Pico is Pico a kind of Pico is a printing term? As is M. Oh, as is M. Good. Yeah, as is for Cicero, Cicero's font. I'm not Could sure. Should be. I don't yeah, think. What's Locksley Hall? So. Um, Locksley Hall. Where Robin Hood is from? No, that's spelt with an X. It's in Staffordshire. Okay, right. Well, yeah. Um, Guinevere, so. Sir Galahad. Mm. Um, a gate topaz garnet, but I can't see any of the birthstones there. No, they're not birthstones. Oh, okay. No, no, no. No, Pica, is no Pica? not Merlin. No, 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 no. Pika. Pika is soil. No, it's not. It's a is craving it? for unnatural food. But it's also, yeah, yeah. It is also oh, a... Um, okay. mind of a How about... It's soil. Do we have ships or something like that? Possibly Ulysses. Mr. Galahad. Galahad, Ulysses. The princess, could that be a ship? Possibly. Yeah, and um, Oh, oh, was lucky, just three attempts now with two groups. What what's that? the link for that? What is the link well, for that? Well, think about it later. Okay. Okay. Well, so what's M? E M, M and Pika are but both terms in printing. Yeah. Okay. I think Merlin could. could I mean, they could be definitely fun. got three. Guinevere stones could be a. Vo Guinevere got... might go with Merlin. Or it might be a red herring. Yeah, we've got um, three stones. But it's not. You've got agate, garnet, topaz. And Merlin's a no. Merlin's a type of bird. Pika's Latin for magpie, but there's nothing that goes with that. Um, are the words going front of M Pika? Cicero, Letters are going in front. Cicero. There's no word games in there anywhere. You've got a minute left. Um, no. Oh, M and Auntie M in uh, Wizard of Oz. Auntie M, Wizard of Oz, yeah. Merlin, Merlin's TV mm. show, anything going Auntie there? Auntie Guinevere, no. Alf Garnet. Are they all characters out Alf of Garnet. something? Garnet's got two teams out Yeah, yeah, okay, okay. So should we. Merlin is one. 
Should we try and warn? Wait, wait, no, Those. no. I'm not sure they are going to be printing, though, are they? What about if we go agate, topaz, garnet, and assume pika might just be a type of stone? I think I tried that. Did earlier. you? Okay, Did take you? them out and don't. No, no, let's do it. Go, go, okay. We've got 30 okay. seconds. Okay, we know it's not that. Oh. Just two lives. Okay, so should we try this the is... Guinevere, the Merlin, the Cicero, and Pika? Pika for we're thinking fonts potentially. Possibly, yeah. But well, M's got well, to go with fonts. Let's do that. M, let's that, M. try M. M. What, Guinevere, I reckon. Okay. Okay. No. Good. Okay. Okay, so we've got one life one left. Go Ten it. seconds so and one attempt. Okay. So can we put words after any of these? We haven't been trying that M, Agate. Mm. Two go seconds. Ah, no. Oh, no, that's not it. The grid has frozen. Yeah. So, you found two groups, that's two points for you. Bonus points for the connections. Gully cover point square. Fielding positions in cricket. Fielding positions in cricket. Ulysses, Sir Galahad, Loxley Hall, the princess. Are we thinking the names of ships? Oh, no, no, no. They are works by Lord Tennyson. Oh. Oh. Tennyson works, they are. So, you can still get points for the connections of the groups you didn't find. Let's Maybe resolve the wall. Topaz, Topaz, Guinevere, Merlin and Garnet. Middle names, we'll go for that. Uh, maybe they're all lottery machines. Yeah. No, it might be newer ones. Oh, yeah, they could be. Yeah, OK, names of national lottery machines. They tried to quiet you, but they good. are Very names. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Actually, from the two different sets. Some of the machines exactly yeah. named after yeah. their interactions. I think these are printing terms. Some after stones. Yeah. National lottery machines. And the last group, Agate, M, Pika, Cicero. Printing terms. Do you want to be any more specific? Uh, um, type, typeface and me spacing. Measures in printing, sort of Formatting heights of things. They like are measurements in printing, lovely. typographical measures. So, well done. You got two points for the groups that you found and three more for the connections. That's a total of five. Now it's the turn of the radio addicts. They're going to get the lion wall. Urgh. That was me doing a lion sound. Sixteen new clues which still have to be sorted into four neatly connected groups of four. Radio Addicts, you've got two and a half minutes for this one, starting now. OK, Helder Skelter, I'm thinking the Beatles with that one. Um, but that doesn't come in with doesn't anything else. Helder Skelter, um, Walkie Talkie, are obviously in... Pan Pan. Pan Pan. Uh, Wilco are a band. Oh, Wilco but... over copy. OK, oh yes, of course, they're all things that you would say mm. in... Uh... So I'll we'll put them down. Because... Contact. 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 RAF, RAF, same. Nope. No, but these are certainly a three. Do we put those? Uh, siesta? Isn't that one? Isn't Siesta one? That's uh, NATO Alphabet. Is it? Uh, OK. Uh, siesta? Isn't that one? Just name? Nope. Uh, no. No. Nope. Um, OK. So that didn't work anyway, so uh, it's not that. Um, uh, can we think of any other bananas as a Western? Um, Gherkin's the name of the... the uh, the building, yeah. Um, so are there so any other buildings retail, there? Uh, um, well, Gherkin. Bessemer was a Gherkin process. Harbour is a process. We've got Harbour yeah. process, Bessemer process, contact process, and I really do have a clue. Well, Shard process. Try it. Okay. Right. No, nope, we'll try Harbour, Bessemer. Keep looking at other things possibly. Uh, uh, no, these are copy process. Copy process. Nope. Nope. Uh, sort of processes. I keep looking at other things while I'm doing that, and we'll um, I'm sure we'll come up with something. Vanilla process. I don't seem to really like this. Okay. Anything else you, no. we've got in the meantime? You've got a minute left. Nope. Contact, Bonanza, Harbour, um, but I've not tried. Uh, Gherkin process, again, not very likely. Pan -pan. And Bonanza, Armadillo, nope. Um, as I say, keep thinking of other things while I'm trying this. Uh, shard, nope. Contact, Bonanza, oops, Harbour, Bessemer, I'm actually pressing the wrong ones up, which doesn't have been helping. Contact, Harbour, Bessemer. Shard, we've tried. Uh, contact Harbour, Bessemer, Armadillo, we've not tried, it's not working. Nothing at all. 30 no. seconds. Contact, copy, Harbour, Bessemer, nope. Contact Harbour, Wilco, Bessemer, nope. Contact Patio, uh, one finger, Harbour, Bessemer, that's one. So we've got one at least. <laughs> and then we just have to hammer them because we've absolutely no time whatsoever. Um, You've got 10 shard. seconds. You didn't come up with anything else while we were. No, I was trying no. to do that, no. OK, uh, vanilla, Wilco, and um, Bonanza. I mean, the chance of this getting a uh, statistically not very high. And your time right. is up. Okay. The wall has frozen. But you got one group. Well. <laughs> so, well done for that. And that, that is a point. Yes. I'll give you another point if you can tell me the connection. Patio, contact, Bessemer, Harbour. They're processes. They're processes for extracting chemicals. Mm -hmm. So you get a point for that. And you can get more points if you can tell me the connections between the other groups. So let's resolve the wall. Siesta, Armadillo, oh, Bonanza, Vanilla. OK, we think they all come from Spanish. They're Spanish loanwords. Very well done. 
And the next group, Pan Pan over Copy Wilco. Um, well, there are um, airline or RAF um, tags, or things you see over the radio where, mm. in aircraft. Air words yeah. used by pilots in aviation control, that's right. And the last one, Bear Gherkin, built, Helter Skelter, Shard, Walkie Talkie. OK, there are um, buildings in London or the nicknames for them. Nicknames for skyscrapers in London, absolutely right. So you got one point for the group that you did find and you're going to get four more points for the connections. That's a total of five. Let's see what that does to the scores going into round four. The Radio Addicts have got eight points. The Epicureans are ahead with 14. And if you'd like to try a connecting wall, you'll find one on our website. The address is on your screen now. So the championship will be decided by missing vowel. In this round, we take well-known names, phrases or sayings. We take out the vowels. We squidge together the consonants. Teams, I want to know what those names and phrases are. Fingers on buzzers, teams. The first group are all political parties outside the UK. Epicureans. Likud. Of Israel, correct. Epicureans. African National Congress. More commonly known as the ANC, correct. Epicureans. The Anaphile. Of Ireland, correct. Epicureans. Christian Democratic Union. Of Germany, correct. Next category, film directors. Addicts. John Wood. Correct. Epicureans. Hey, Pedro and Moldavar. Correct. Epicureans. And Lee. Correct. Yeah. Don't know this one. Guy Ritchie. Too late, I'm afraid. You both buzzed at once and I'd started to give the answer. It's Guy Ritchie. Next category, five syllable words. Addicts. Kaleidoscopic. Correct. Addicts. Congratulations. Correct. Addicts. Inaudible. I'm afraid that's not the answer, Epicureans. Undeniable. Undeniable, correct. Next clue. Epicureans. Arbitrarily. Correct. Next category, scat singers. Addicts. Louis Louis Armstrong. Armstrong. Correct. Addicts. Scatman Crovers. Correct. Epicureans. Hap Calloway. Yes, it is. Addicts. Yes, it is. And just in the nick of time, because that means the end of the quiz. Looking at the final scores, then, I can reveal. The noble runners-up with 13 points are the Radio Addicts. But the winners and new champions of Only Connect with 23 points, it's the Epicureans. <laughs> Many congratulations to you. The trophy is yours to take away. Unlucky radio addicts, you've done brilliantly to get this far. Some great quizzing. Thank you very much for coming. Thank you. And thank you for watching Only Connect, the show so full of twists and turns, so dark and difficult to navigate, there ought to be a minotaur sitting in the middle of it. I'll pretend you didn't just say that. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> And you can hear Stephen Fry delighting in word games in Fry's English Delight on Tuesday morning at 9am over on BBC Radio 4. Next this evening, stay with us for a taste of Italian crime drama with Time Shift.